Now, despite his predicaments in the last few days, Mike Sonko's efforts to clean Nairobi city have still not yielded any fruits. Among the issues that the Senate wants to be investigated are allegations of financial embezzlement, leadership, wrangles, and of course claims of a dysfunctional executive due to the frequent reshuffling of CECs. Nairobi Senator Joseph Sakaja a few weeks ago actually led nine MPs from Nairobi in accusing the governor of presiding over a dysfunctional executive characterized by gang hole tactics and called for a comprehensive forensic audit of all money allocated to the county in the last three financial years. Mr. Sakaja and nine MPs said the county government has failed to deliver the critical services enumerated as county functions, including health, water, sewage, sanitation, estate and feeder roads, physical planning, early childhood education, among others. They also wanted an investigation into all medical machines and equipment purchased under the government county purchase or procurement agreement, the hospitals in Nairobi that have benefited from the status of the equipment. I think the problem is we become a people who are fixated with elections. And um, after we're done with one election, already we're running towards thinking about the next election. Um, and, and, and that shows to a vacuum in, uh, in leadership. What I would urge my colleagues is that we were elected to work. We have uh, a term of four or five years. And during that time, we need to focus on work. You know, the U.S. election is just next year. Now is when we're seeing them talking about it. We need to hold off all of these, uh, you know, pressures of whether it is BBI, Punguza Mzigo, whether it is, you know, constitutional change, boundaries review, um, and look at the issues that are facing our, our people. A time for election will come. There's a time for everything. But when we become a country that is fixated on elections, then every day, you know, it is politicking, and the media is focusing just on those who are, who are, who are doing politics and not on those who are doing good work. So it, it tempts members to say, okay, if I want to get coverage, let me go to a podium and insult uh, the opposition, uh, those who are opposing me, let me insult my opponents. Yet you're not doing real work to, uh, for the people. So we must change our attitude as, as leaders, but also the media must stop focusing too much on the political discourse. What it does, it creates um, a, a lack of, you know, a conducive environment for business. Um, investors start shying away. When they do that, then we go back to joblessness. We go back to a, an economy that has no liquidity, which is a big problem in our country. All right. Many Nairobians have complained about the state of cleanliness in this town. But of course, our own reporter, David Kagina, went down in the streets of Nairobi and he's actually want uh, to bring us up to speed on what he experienced because as it is, um, he didn't like what he saw. And David Kagina, uh, maybe uh, good to see you, my brother, but maybe you can tell us what is really happening on the ground because not so many people are happy. Uh, thank you very much, Nick. It is indeed true that uh, today I had the opportunity to walk into the streets of Nairobi, uh, especially the outskirts. And uh, truth be told, what I saw there is not as things should be, considering this is the capital of the country. Yes, it would be wrong if we said, uh, if we nullified everything that the governor Mike Sonko has done up to now. But truth be told, we are not up to where we should be. Because uh, if you look at some of the roads, they are really pathetic. If you look at how some people are dumping, uh, the dumping sites, uh, if you look at, especially in phase four of uh, Dandora, you find that people don't really get to where the dumping site is and should be. And some of them are tired and dropping some of the rubbish along the way. And this is not the state of how our capital city should look like. Uh, Nick, uh, today I had also the opportunity to get to interact with some of the Kenyans and they got to give me their views in regards to the issue. And these are some of the things that they had to say. Angalia sana upande Kenya mwenyako, kiwango ya chini. Manake export to balance. Nairobi cannot be called Nairobi without those hustlers, without those small people. We are the ones who make Kenyan to be Kenyan. Because without this sukumawiki ini nashika hapa, ule mtu wameajirua kwa office ya hezi pata pesa, ama hezi pata mboga. I am here because of that person in the office, and the person is in the office because of me. So at least I try to balance Kenyans. My son go join me morning. I'm excited. I'm with Jana San. You come and see sweet here to my Jana. We go and go to Masina to attend. We have to see him go jam. But in say come and come and see it on the go driving on a check. And you need to go to the go. We go to the last one. We go to the road. We go to the road. We go to the road. Provided 
panapo kila everything yenu na dua na kuna kitu mzuri lazima baki yako kwa na kitu mbaya hata god mwenyewe alikuwa mzuri lakini alisulubi unaona ningependekeza ya kwamba eh, right honorable bwana uhuru muigai kenyata wakishirikiana na bwana raila tafadhali na ludi haji naona ni kama kenya itapiga hatua posa vichana tuweze kupata kazi kama pesa iko kwa mifuko ya watu ni ngumu sana kucreate employment opportunities otherwise mimi ninapendekeza when eh, waendelee mbele na wasidi kufichua hata wale wengine ambao wako diposa ke, pesa hiyo pesa yote irudi kwa, kwa account ya mwananchi na hakika Kenya itapiga tu Kenya sio inchi maskini ni ile ya kwamba pesa nyingi imerudi kwa mifuko ya watu tumerudi kuwa maskini Kenya ni nchi ambayo ili, Mungu alibariki lakini kwa vile sasa ufisadi umeenea imerudi kakuwa shida kubwa sana aswa kwa upande kwa masisi mahasolas ambapo tunatoka ndio tupate Okay yes indeed we might uh, some of the people might argue that some of these responsibilities are not entitled to the office of the governor but truth be told we cannot separate the bull from its horns and the river is attributed to its source and if the tributaries are failing it means there's a problem with the source mm -hmm. uh, back to you Nick All right something else before I let you go Kagina the issues about now governance what mm -hmm. do you think will happen because as we are aware the council of governors want to meet the president to determine who will take control of Nairobi county so far have you heard of anything maybe Uh, well, uh, I'll comment in regards to the constitution. According to our constitution currently, it says that if in case the governor will be convicted to a term more than 12 months, then uh, the seat of the governor will be declared uh, vacant. And this will call for the, uh, for the speaker of the county assembly, who in this case is Beatrice Alachi, to step in and become the governor of the county in the time being. And uh, an election... An election should run within 60 days after she takes that position as the governor of the county. All right. Thank you very much, um, Buona David Kagina, for that insight. And of course, as it is, very many people are actually aware that indeed uh, the, the, the town is actually very, very dirty. But still, let's see how things will go. Constitution will actually uh, save us. But again, will Beatrice Elachi take home this thing now? Let's